got some whack levels going on, but we're going to do this anyway. Sweet. Hello. Hello. Welcome to uh, my garage <laughs> and also the first episode situation of the Daily Lobo podcast situation, episode one dot com slash treehouse basement with your host me wait is it called the diglilaboo what'd you say no what the daily lobo daily oh lobo. <laughs> okay I, I didn't hear that no, right no, yeah, we're, uh, we, we out here fam and we're <laughs> with, i'm with treehouse basement hello who are you guys i'm jose i don't mean this to be like formal it's, oh it's like i'm the singer yeah. and i sing songs and stuff um I'm Casey, and I play drums and do a little bit of keyboards here and there. Uh, rest in peace, Christopher Big Black Boykin, by the way. I heard yeah, about RIP, that. Man. I don't yeah. know who he is, but I heard he Big dead Black now. from Robin Big. He just died yesterday. It's sad. It's unfortunate. Yeah. He's... The skate community of the last decade is mourning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to reach out to my middle school friends. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Another feeling. That, that was the era, man. Maybe buy them some flowers. But anyways, enough yeah. about me, this guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 Tyler. I play the guitar. And the synth. And and recently Cir- the circa synth. January twenty seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we added some new equipment. Is that when you started playing the synth? Yeah, it might have been. we bought it about Maybe that not. time, yeah. Oh. Well oh. I know you guys played it for Five for Fiesta, but I wasn't there for that. Dang, that was like a while back, wasn't it? That uh, that was March, so I don't know if you had it before. Oh. Yeah. That yeah, okay, yeah, we did. Year, That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. And you're on keyboards too then. Because you said keyboards. When you yeah, said. well, uh, in the our first album, I did the piano part at the, the very ending of Vamos, that Latin outro that we do. And then this upcoming album, uh, for a few of our songs, I do some keyboard stuff as well. Okay. But not like simultaneously in a live <laughs> setting because I only have two hands. Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> take over that. But just in the recorded <laughs> stuff, yeah, um, I, I wrote some parts, so. Comes up with some jazzy, funky stuff, man. It just feels good. Yeah, feels yeah. right. You know what I mean? He just yeah. right on spot. Boom, there it and is. In our second album, I'll be I'll be doing some backup vocals too. I didn't know backup vocals in the first album, mm. except for just the parts where we're shouting like in the words. <laughs> yeah, we shout it all together. Howard, yeah. our producer. But I wouldn't really. Oh, no, I wouldn't yeah. really count that. Which songs did you shout for? Oh, just the word is chorus. The oh, I'm always. You shouted yeah, that. Yeah, we shouted in the background, like in this in the room, and we just like, like all yeah, huddled around. Over your singing. Yeah, oh, really? yeah, that's why it sounds yeah, like that. boosh. Yeah, yeah, it's very kind of minimal. Like you can't really hear it unless you try and listen very closely. But okay. that was kind of the effect of it, I guess, just to give it more strength. It was it was nice to see them like learn the lyrics. Yeah. On spot. Well, I told you we when the first time so I heard the lyrics, I had no idea. What yeah, you were saying, so I was just like making <laughs> stuff up as you know when I saw you live. That seems to be the case with like everybody. I always find the worst trying to sing it like trying to make it so <laughs> that it go. <laughs> I, I don't think that I. Yeah. <laughs> part everyone knows Which i don't I, think that i yeah exactly oh, yeah, yeah it cracks me up probably your my favorite song i can't say it's your best song but it's definitely my favorite song. oh yeah what, what is your favorite song it's uh you know what my favorite treehouse basement is song is oh. bleed yeah. fine poetry bleed, fine yeah poetry. i remember i think you said that one time uh your show with ugly robot uh like in january we were talking outside i think i remember you saying something like that yeah that was after so the first time i heard your guys' album like all the way through was um, I was in Santa Barbara visiting my mom, and I was on a bus from LA to Santa Barbara, and oh, nice. I was jamming it on Bandcamp because I bought it. And when I got to Bleed Fine Poetry, I texted you oh, in yeah. the bus at like ten. That was intimate like, text. I wish I kept it. Yeah, but I you really, didn't keep it. it I mean, maybe happy. I, I probably didn't keep it. I changed either. my phones, so yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it had to go. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I remember texting you. I was like, "This is the dankness." And uh, the oh, lyrics, dude, just, the lyrics are good. That's, if, that's I felt it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah, but the rest of the album is horrible. Oh yeah, dude. Because right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really amount to yeah the bleed. The first two, mm-hmm. yeah. 
You you open with what the word is, right? Yeah, yeah. the word is, and then and it's just a steady song. decline from yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Until it gets to bleed, which is like <laughs> yeah, near yeah. the end of the yeah, album. <laughs> this, no, no, no I, I, I love the album. Why uh, why is it called Treehouse Basement? Why? Uh, we just didn't have just, a name yeah, for it, yeah, because, yeah. you know, I, I mean, figured. I feel like future albums, like, we have to come up with a name for it, mm-hmm. like, you know it's just like when following the same pattern it's, it's a self-titled debut album mm-hmm. lots of bands do it yeah kinda... yeah definitely and it, i mean it is it's it, it kind of is it's what you ask for you know it's like treehouse basement like this yeah, is that, that is it treehouse basement. there's no bullshit per yeah. se there's no like i i i want to say there's no it's not like a concept album no it's yeah, not it's that's why i think it was wrote. it was good to be self-titled yeah. 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 yeah and then we actually like found our sound too like the ep was very we're just like going for that indie rock sound but this album yeah. we're just experimenting with everything that we could mm-hmm. so i haven't yeah. listened to the ep in so long oh man it's so old like, it's prehistoric at this point yeah, yeah. No yeah i kind of right? hate it <laughs> <laughs> well no i don't i don't really hate it actually it's i mean it is what it is i mean we recorded that i don't know if you know about this but uh our friend jabari um what was the relationship between him and Hugo exactly? So basically, Jabari's stepdad was a white German guy, yeah, okay. who was who was married or dating Jabari's black mom, and Jabari's black mom also had a black lady friend with a white German friend, and they both figured out this like, is true like, by the way. Why, uh, J- Jabari's uh, stepdad was with his friend, and they were having a conversation at a bar, and they were just like, "Oh shit, your wife is black, my wife is black too. You're German, I'm German. Let's be friends," and they all became friends. Oh wow! And it turns out, he, <laughs> yeah, it turns out Hugo was basically um, that friend of Jabari's stepdad. He was a jeweler, and he also had a hobby of doing uh, audio production. Oh, so, like he had a room just yeah, dedicated was, yeah, was, to it. He had a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, I, was gonna, you know? I was gonna ask, what what does this have to do with anything? No, yeah, oh, it's, well, it's yeah. Just like yeah. A, so black they had people. done some. <laughs> Tyler and Jose had done some recordings yeah, with when we were Hugo kids, before when we, we kinda, first met each other. We yeah. made we made some recordings with Jabari because Jabari was the drummer of our band. We called it Kairos. We're just you know learning cover songs. Not for and, Treehouse. No, this was a yeah. long time ago. Okay. So this is kind of like how we had our foot in the door with this guy already. And we made some recordings with him, and then we had, we just asked Jabari, like Tyler asked Jabari again, if we could just make an EP real quick, and he was all down for it because nice. he remembered us. So he's like, yeah, of course. That was Nowhereland. Yeah, Nowhereland okay. EP yeah. was made. Okay. So yeah, because he had a drum set set up, so I was drumming on that, and then we used his guitars, and he had like a nice little vocal booth set up where he laid down vocals, and he did it all for free, and uh, we you know can't be more thankful for it we uh, gave him like a little present at the end uh just to give him like a or like a chili's gift you. card or what no it was uh <laughs> champagne that would have been great yeah, actually yeah, that's a like, good it was, like, idea a nice little gift basket, yeah it was a it? basket of champagne and some, it was a gift card to some restaurant wasn't there i don't know there better was not some, be chili's no, no it was, it was i like the chili's <laughs> some some, <laughs> some sushi place so yeah. long ago i don't remember but he moved he moved to florida yeah okay. he's yeah. gone that's cool yeah because the nowhereland is really good especially for a first release from my ears acquiesce acquiesce and like staircase stairwell oh yeah stairwell those, those are going down i think acquiesce was probably still one of our best produced songs like it still holds up to like the record yeah. if we played it yeah. next to it in the night He looks at me with red eyes 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 As the night seems black and blue Oh, is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can do? Like that's the song that did that. Did. Mm. Do you guys still play that live? Actually. Yeah, that's oh, actually yeah. one of the only ones we play. That and Skeleton Man and Stairwell are like the only three yeah. we play. Like Sully yeah. Luna is pretty much but discarded. Banana People too, right? Yeah, well, since yeah. that went on to the record. Mm-hmm. So it's on both. Yeah, it's right. on both yeah. of them. We just wanted to make a better version of it. I forgot why. Because you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> that's why. Actually, I think I wanted to do Stairwell and Skeleton Man too, but uh-huh. yeah, those just we didn't do that. Yeah. So. Banana I had people banana people one. I don't know why I find that funny. Yeah, everyone likes banana people a lot. And I'm like <laughs> shocked about it. Banana people. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, that's where the name Nowhere Land derives from, is from the Banana People lyrics, actually. Yeah. You call oh, that really? the title Adventure track of the EP. Adventure out to Nowhere Land, share a perspective we don't understand. Oh, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Who are... I don't want to get too deep, but, like, are we the Banana People? Like, or, or Well, <laughs> when Tyler and I were younger, we just, like experimenting a lot and we had like a little journey we'd have like a bunch of journeys and stuff and that's like <laughs> that kind of like ended up being a part of one of those journeys and we're like yeah. oh. i was like i'm gonna make a song about coming of age and that was banana people okay so yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said this is for the daily lobo yeah yeah okay how explicit can this get so um we can we can cuss but definitely <laughs> <laughs> definitely on the more minimal side because i have a mouth of like 18 sailors like combined in one. Oh, dude, um, for sure so I, i'm i'm definitely restraining myself i hope you guys do but if if, okay. if the time comes and i'm sure it will just go ahead throw throw in a throw in a bad a word good old, yeah uh, a good old one uh, yeah, we'll, we'll know when it's time yeah i was just <laughs> asking i was just asking because the meaning of banana people what he was talking about experiences what he said experimenting that could have been taken two ways yeah right? no, and i hope it's been yeah. taken the, the the way that it no yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I, i'm i just I'm, wanted to keep it mysterious so that no, I, mean, I for yeah. one am down with the ambiguity yeah i mean it's called banana people yeah, yeah so sweet. i mean take that as you will you did speaking of journeys though you i want to talk about your you lived overseas and you said that's contributed to your songwriting yes like you moved to italy when you were like Oh, I don't know. that was six, fifteen? No, sixteen. Okay. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah. I was in Japan when I was like twelve. But yeah, those experiences. So, yeah, the like, first time I interviewed you guys, I, I was like, that, where, yeah. where do you like write? Like, what do you write songs about? Or like, where do you get your inspiration? Just basically like, the people I meet. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the You're people like, I meet give me places. like pretty much all my source material and whatnot. Yeah. Like whatever experiences they have, I just take that and I'm like, right, I'm gonna make a song out yeah. of that. How long have you been in Albuquerque then? And do you Ooh, still have that man. perspective now that you've been here for so long? Yeah. Yeah, four years, I think. Wait, three years. Yeah, I'm going to say three. three or your whole life, though, before. Oh, yeah, I've lived here, like, my whole, yeah. most of my life, though. So, like, let me see. I mean, I can't I can't put a number. Like, 17 years I've been yeah. here. So, yeah, most yeah. of my life. Yeah. But that's pretty much Do, do you still have that perspective, though, like, about, like, writing about... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All my source material is still from other people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You, you just steal it? Yeah, no. I mean, they tell me, <laughs> <laughs> they, tell me they tell me a story, and I'm like, okay, I did, you know, I make a song out of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's like all, every single most of my songs, like 75 percent of that music. Uh-huh. You, and do you write? You don't write? Do you write all the lyrics? Uh, most of them, yeah. I mean, Tyler wrote some of the lyrics too, like in Sun Night, the even though this wasn't the last. Yeah, time even I'm like there. how he's explaining how he's taking like uh, stories from other people. That that was this the only song I wrote any lyrics to was Sun Night. And it's basically about me dating this girl at the at this point in time in college, and he was basically the singer songwriter. And I was like, I just have a few words written down. Let's just try and work with what we have, and let's make the song about that. And he did, and he wrote some f-ing great shit, and in two languages too. Like that's one of the things There's, I love. Is Spanish on that? Yeah, because he, yeah. he was dating a Latina, so was he, like, he wrote the it. songs. He wrote the lyrics in Spanish, and she was Brazilian, but. <laughs> 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 I mean, I said close it, enough. Yeah, it's a compromise. It's a compromise. <laughs> you know. Just sort third party source material. Just the countries yeah, yeah, yeah. around Brazil. They speak Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah not, not Brazilian. But. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know Portuguese, so I was like, no, yeah, oh, no. darn. I've heard Portuguese is just Spanish with like a fa. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's close. pretty pretty close with to the, each other. The spice. Like you sizzle it on 350 and let it cook for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I can't understand anything they're saying, though. So No, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. You could if you studied <laughs> no, I- <laughs> Yeah, I got to learn some Spanish. But no, I like adding a little Spanish to some of the yeah, music. No, the New Mexican vibe, dude. Yeah. yeah. Wyatt, Wyatt Minor in Spanish, and you wouldn't know because he's like not. He's just the <laughs> weirdest person I've ever met. <laughs> he's really punk rock, man. Yeah, everybody throws it in there. Mm-hmm. Um yeah cool oh yeah it's fresh dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> friggity fresh let's uh should we talk about the the last gig you just you guys just had it was with us but i don't want to talk about our involvement i just want to talk about your guys' involvement because um and i know we'd get to this point eventually is that nate is no longer in, in yeah Nate's band. no longer in the band and that's that's definitely worth talking about um yeah. so what i mean Playing with him for the last time, did it just feel like yeah, it's just like the last gig? Because I know it's, it, I knew it was 
you guys are on good terms, no? Yeah, oh, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're good friends. That. Yeah, seeing him yeah. at Tati's grad, and hopefully you at Tatiana's graduation party. This, this yeah, so that's we'll, like we'll this all weekend. be there. Yeah, we're all gonna be there. But yeah, you know, Nate's a good dude. You know, yeah. he just he wanted to do something musically different. He's mm-hmm. feeling more of like a R and B, you know, pop feel. So mm-hmm. he's gonna go with his route, and then we're gonna keep doing our route. But yeah, yeah we end on good terms. We're good friends still. You that's, know, yeah, I mean, he's just a good dude. So yes. yeah. mm-hmm. he did tell me he was getting a little burnt out on like doing shows and stuff. I think. That kind of contributed to that decision as well as he wants to take some time to just kind of like songwrite and do his own stuff. And, you know, he's also still in school as well, so he's got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, it's mutual both ways. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's not to be like dramatic about it, but it's definitely like the end of a... And Eric, because that was like the founding Treehouse. Yeah, and that's what makes that first album special. Yeah, exactly. And the EP. It's definitely going to be the second album will be a lot different because uh-huh. we don't have his sweet licks. Yeah. So that last show we did, like a lot of those songs that were on our debut album, like we won't really be able to play those very much anymore in the future because they require two guitars and bass for a lot of them. There are some that we might be able to get by with. Um, but I mean, yeah, so that show kind of signified the end of that sort of era. And now we're. More so focusing on songwriting for our second album, mm-hmm. which is going in a little bit of a different direction, but it's still sort of treehouse basement core, mm-hmm. so to speak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because now it's t- you and Jose, Tyler and Jose. You guys switch bass and guitar now. Yeah, yeah and well, some of the music yeah. that we're going to be playing, yeah, we're going to be doing that for like, he writes some music, so I'll play bass to that. And if I write some music, he'll be playing bass yeah, to that. Yeah, more so of a dynamic on the second yeah. album. I'm, I'm yeah. a songwriter. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so To kind of, so we could play it live, you know, work it live. We'll probably be playing, you know, most of our second record stuff live now too. Yeah, so. yeah and, and it, it kind of works out. There was even one song that I play guitar that he was just going to be primarily on vocals and nothing else. Man, he's just going to hop on. Now I could that. just, boom, take yeah, the bass. Get yeah. with it. Um, well, that means you, Tyler, have three duties now. You sing, ah. plays synth, four actually, synth, we'll vocals, guitar, and bass. Yeah, he's all we'll over the place. Happens. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> He's an animal, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta try hard. You better stock up on protein shakes or something. <laughs> you need some nutrition. Oh, um, definitely. Cucumbers, cucumbers. Beer. That's what we need. Nutrition. Yeah. Nutrition. <laughs> wink. Nutrition will make you play all those instruments. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. That good old uh, carbohydrates. Oh yeah. Some magnesium. Yeah. Potassium. They're out. We do have bananas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just went to Smith's. We do have some bananas. Got full of potassium. Um, yeah. No, that is good. I, I, it is good you guys are on uh, good terms because you guys were and, you know, continue to be one of my favorite indie rock bands here in Albuquerque. I think you know, just because of the unique style you guys have. It's like indie, it's indie pop rock mixed with like desert vibes and like dancing yeah, yeah. Dude, it's desert just, sound you know, yeah, man. yeah it's, it's like desert dancing sound. in the desert with your friends and then going back to the hotel and <laughs> getting hydrated you know that's yeah like, <laughs> that's, that's when I, that's you gotta that's stay that's hydrated yeah. man so is the second album gonna stay i mean you kind of just answered it but i mean without nate is like what's the treehouse sound is it gonna differ i i assume there's gonna be more like sense and stuff yes uh, yeah there's a lot more experimenting two different animals performing live and recording Oh, recording. Like, what's the album going to sound like recording? And I think it's going to sound, I don't know, a little funkier, a little more in your face. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. A lot of a lot of different genres that we're kind of like. Really? A lot more that we're touching nice. this like, record oh, than we did yeah. the last one. Yeah, we'll say there are some songs that are m- much more aggressive, a little bit more of a punk vibe that we put into it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I nice. think you'll like that a lot just based off of, you know, what you do in Mountainhead. Yeah, you know, I'm, we're yeah, I'm super curious. I want to see place. like Angry Treehouse Basement. Like, what the hell? Does well, yeah, that there is like? one song we have <laughs> a uh, kind of punk rock outro where we go really heavy. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're so. You, you haven't played that live yet, though. Oh, no, it's instrumental, so we'll, you'll oh, probably it's hear it nice. soon. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited yeah. for that one. Mm-hmm. Is there a name for it? Good morning. Yeah. Good, good morning. morning. Yes. Okay. I'm super excited because nobody one. likes waking up, right? Yeah. And then it. As he was saying, we have a couple other songs that have more of like a kind of hard rock mixed with funk vibe. Um, so those are a little bit different from the songs that we had on our debut album. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, there are a lot of songs where it's Jose and Tyler on piano, um, not both at the same time. They just switch it up and they'll both sing pretty much mm-hmm. uh, while they're playing piano. So uh, those are... 
I would say those songs, uh, minus the fact that we have piano on them, they kind of still have that sort of treehouse basement feel. They're I guess, still like that the indie rock songs nice. on the yeah. on the record, yeah. but yeah, the other ones are just like touching all kinds of other things and just yeah. we're trying to it's way funky. measure. Yeah, <laughs> it's way funky. It's way We're gonna make it funky. I'd say like the best way to say it is just it's more in your face. Yeah, just like that's good because mm-hmm. when I listen to you guys, I, I, I'm always like, let's. Let, I want more of this in my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. So cool. You'll get it <laughs> on the record. <laughs> but my face is on the receiving end of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, righteous. That's good to hear, man. I'm glad you guys are still doing things, and I'm glad. Um, uh, if nothing else, the the, the treehouse sound is evolving oh, yeah, to man. some extent. Um, I heard talks of Seattle. No, Portland. 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 I've heard talks of moving. Yes. Yeah. We want to relocate to the Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Big long time. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Not in, like next month. No, yeah. no, no, no. We 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 have a plan, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a plan. But there's a we, you know the music scene there, so yeah, it's a, it's we want to just jump into that. It's right next to Seattle, which has a huge you know. Punk also rock, post punk, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, rest in peace, big, big black. R.I.P. Man, what's his name? Wait. Yeah, big black, or his name's Christopher. Uh, did you did you mention skating? Because that's why I, I'm saying this. Oh yeah, well, his <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, well, just people generally who like skated during like the 2000s decade, I guess. Uh, I mean, unless you're just like a complete arrogant prick, you probably like admired Big Black in some way and probably wish you had your own. <laughs> you know, a, big, a big security guard to like yeah. protect you from security guards. Because when I was like in middle I school, I wish I had my old Big Black. You know, like we would get kicked out of spots and stuff like that. So we just thought that was cool. Yeah, they made yeah. that into a TV show. Yeah, I, remember, I thought that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when it came out, I didn't think it was even going to be that big of a deal, but it really propelled like. Rob Deerdeck's career. That's, made him, like, I literally a big learned about guy. that today because of like Fantasy Factory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, but. I know what you're talking about yeah. though. Like Skate Two, you yeah. Ever play that. Yeah. You get Big Black to come hook you up. That was dope, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. listening to Chanel West Coast today, and I hate. I don't want to admit that forever for history to to remember me by. But who's Chanel Coast? Uh, oh, you were the... listening to her music. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've. I remember it was, I, it was a weird day. Videos. I was not. <laughs> it was a weird it. day. No, yeah, but that's how I found out. Is because everyone in the comments were just like, "R.I.P." Which yeah, artist? Yeah. Chanel West Coast. So who's that? I'm not. Really, I don't Factory? even know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, she basically came on the show as like a receptionist for Rob Deerdex. Deerdex Enterprises. Did I she stand there and look pretty? Is pretty she one much. of those? Pretty much. I guess like drama. His. Uh, Rob Deerdeck's cousin, who was on Rob and <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> her to Rob, and then she just got on the show, and then, you know, the way MTV Magic works, yeah, no, she yeah. just has a rap career yeah, now. she has a song now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's well produced, I will say that. Yeah. They, are, they always are. Gonna, this is going to come and haunt me. My sisters are going to listen to this and make fun of me now. Oh, God. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> you <laughs> punk yeah, rock, bro. I don't care. seemed like Big Black was a pretty genuine yeah. dude. I mean... Uh, like I have all the respect for Rob Deerdeck and everything. He's not from Seattle, is he? Or no, is that uh, how, like how did we get to this topic? I think because you were talking about skateboarding. There's a big skateboarding. I heard. Scene I think like I misheard in, the word Seattle for skate, and then I brought up rest in oh. peace. Yeah. <laughs> well, which is fine. Way, I like. Know, yeah. Whatever direction we can go in, but <laughs> so I, well, um, I'd love to skate up in the Pacific Northwest. Like I've never yeah, even yeah. been there before, but they have a lot of crazy parks um up there. Like a lot of. You're, you're in a band. Yeah, that's already halfway to being a skater. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, actually, we all did skateboard oh, yeah, for a dude. long oh, time. Tore so. that shit up. Even Nate, yeah. Nate was really into skateboarding. Really? Like, I mean, he, yeah, he yeah. kind of looks like him. That. Me and Nate would skateboard at in Tyler. We'd all go to the park near yeah. Tejeras and just you know rock in. Him and I've been to Cueva I just stay flat ground. I challenge kids to skate all day. Oh yeah, he'd beat me all the time when we were kids, man. Like, God, four stairs. But well, you had that hip injury that kind of. Oh, dude, yeah. I think that is the main reason why he stopped skateboarding. I mean. If it weren't for that, you'd still be rocking. Yeah, I jumped it. off a wall when I was sixteen, like oh, trying to get into a swimming pool, <laughs> and I like Did you miss? no, I actually didn't get any traction as I pushed, so I kind of just slipped and fell directly, like horizontal, flat six feet, oh. and like scratched up my ribs on the edge, and my <laughs> pelvis hit the edge of the pool, and I and I fractured my pelvis. Oh, good times. Yeah, so good no times. more skateboarding after that. <laughs> yeah. God, you're like let's let's learn guitar now. Yep. 
Yeah. He had his nolly though. He had his nolly <laughs> down. <dude. laughs> his nolly tricks. His switch, dude. He just all right. Kick flip. All right. Switch. Kick flip. Yeah. All right. Tray flip. All right. Yeah, switch. Tray flip. Kick flip. Twist. Method. Yeah. Three sixty. Horizontal. <laughs> dark slide. <laughs> <laughs> I love skate too, yeah. man. No, yeah, Tony, Tony Hawk. Hawk yeah, was my jam, dude. Oh my god. What was that pink one that they made? American Wasteland. Y- yeah, okay. it was pretty. Oh, I, I played like that a lot too. But I didn't really play it. Tony Hawk Underground One and Two were my stuff. Two too, was yeah. the weird one. Two was where like you had all those characters you could play. In. Yeah, it was like Bam Margera versus Tony Hawk, and you choose yeah. a team, and it was you weird. only you oh, can yeah. only be on Tony's Fun team. Fun game though. It was a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. You could ride all kinds of other different stuff that are not a skateboard. What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. wheelchair and stuff. <laughs> It's, it's ruined the game, man. It's about yeah. skating, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a purist. Not yeah, purist. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever skate or no? I rollerbladed, which is less cool, but I was yeah, pretty man, good at it. Yeah, it's cool in its <laughs> yeah. own way. I see rollerbladers at skate parks. Like, uh, sometimes they'll just come through Albuquerque. I'll see them like either at parks or just uh, like random spots around town, and they do crazy stuff. Like, yeah. I'm, it's very impressive. Yeah. I have no hate for the rollerblades. At least they're not scooter kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw yeah. a scooter, scooter kid the other day. We're coming walking, for you. Right next to my apartment, I was going up the the Eubank Trail, and there was a kid doing some pretty sweet scooter moves on that rail in this Arroyo. Nice. I was like, nice, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I respect I respect you. the Ain't scooter no kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, I got... I didn't get into skating, but like after I played the game Jet Set Radio Future, do you guys know that game? No, I don't know that it's game. It's a skating game for the Xbox, same generation as like Tony Hawk and stuff. And oh. it was like a cartoon. It was like Cell Shade. It was like a cartoony game. Oh, okay. Where you nice. can, where you're, you're in like Neo Tokyo, where your skate, or your rollerblades have like jet boosters, and you can like graffiti stuff. Oh, oh that is. It was dope. such that an was, awesome game. Yeah. So that was the like first race, generation like. Xbox. No, yeah, it was. Yeah, oh, okay. the first. I when I bought an Xbox, story. it came with two games. One was Jet Set Radio Future, and one was like racing 5000 i was like i'm not jet set <laughs> radio future yeah that's a that's crazy, crazy name for a video game oh it's so fun oh it's like wow. it's you guys should at least wikipedia it cuz it's really <laughs> interesting <laughs> it deserves a wikipedia it's super yeah it's such an awesome game and, for sure um, man we have to check and that the music out. oh the music on that game too is amazing wow. you know what skateboarding games do have a lot of great yeah music. oh definitely yeah. like wow. gold the goldfinger uh superman by goldfinger was huge after oh, tony nice. hawk 2 or something yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, um, yeah, even Underground had some really good songs. A lot um, of punk rock, too. Yeah. The uh, first Underground, they had a lot of, like, underground rap. They had Atmosphere on there. That's kind of how I think a lot of people discovered them. Because they had that song, Trying to Find a Balance. I don't know. Do you guys listen to Atmosphere? No. no, no. <laughs> I, sh- I really should. Well, that's, like, one of his biggest songs. And I think that's might be, in part, the reason. Was and Tony I, Hawk? I would imagine, like, off of licensing, they probably make decent money just having their music on the soundtrack to those oh games. definitely yeah. dude on like the soccer games i know like there's a lot like musical soundtracks for the soccer games are like a big yeah. thing yeah it's like fifa yeah yeah the FIFA's. one through 86 <laughs> 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 dang um, is it really that much now th- there might as well be dude oh man it's i like, haven't played it since the game like 13 fifa games a year oh wow. i mean there's not but they're yeah i, I know well it's yeah, ridiculous yeah. It's, it's absurd and uh, on, on this note, I can, I can see Treehouse music being kind oh, of that. The any rock on yeah. the FIFA. And I'm sure you guys can too. Like on a maybe not a Tony Hawk game, but definitely like Dude, a FIFA fuck. game. We would love to license. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Video games. Or yeah. TV shows. Or well, we're, yeah. Grab our music what's, what's and throw it at that? How far are you willing to like sell? Sell no. Like if there's like a KFC nothing. commercial and they ask you. Ooh, no, Ooh, no, no, definitely no. not. I, mean, like, I will gladly give my soul to anybody who it's, gives it's me a yeah. million dollar check. No, I'm yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the money. It is. That's what, that's yeah, what it's about. <laughs> um, KFC, I'll never do. Yeah, like no, a sandwich yeah, course, co- yeah. commercial or something. Like, yeah. Come to Subway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you coward? Did you shake yeah. you coward? <laughs> Which is funny because that's my favorite lyric off of uh, <laughs> It's that, that lyric. And no, honestly, that's one of my favorite Right? Things. It's, it's so him out in the way he says, It's <laughs> sour! <laughs> it's not it's quite like, like that. I know, no. I taste it. I taste the sour when you oh, say man. it, dude. I yeah. fucking feel it, man. Um, the gig, <laughs> we, were, we were at a show at Low Spirits that you guys were playing. Um... And I remember hearing that line, and I thought I misheard it, so I was like, oh, I'm going to write that down so I could use it. And, I, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I I, guess I looked at, I think your lyrics are online, because I looked yeah, it up or something, and I was like, crap, like, that's, I can't use this, because he oh, used nice. it. Oh, well, nice. And the other lyric is, um... I'm glad I almost influenced that. <laughs> <laughs> you almost did. Um, the other lyric was, it's right after that where you say, 
It took five days for you to believe it or something. Yeah, yeah such yeah. a good line. No, did you Probably in the context, yeah. not just that line. What's the like verse? Let me see. What's the beginning? Did you carry to shake your card? The taste in my mouth is sour. So, yeah. I and guess the, we're just misunderstood. Did you see it? It took time to mean it. It took five days for you to believe it. Yeah, li- that whole like situation. Well, did you cower? on that bus in Santa Barbara. I was like, Ooh. Oh, nice, yeah. dude. Hell yeah. I'm oh, yeah. feeling it. I'm feeling that love right <laughs> yeah. here. No, yeah. You felt it through the text. I know that. Dude, I did. I really <laughs> did. I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got me a bow. Palpable. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Are, are there any upcoming Trios gigs? Or? At the moment, the, uh, none. Mm, just no. keeping it chill for now. Are we going to go through that one at Burt's at the end of the month or no? Oh, yeah. We, um, ha- we have one book. We had to cancel a couple shows. Oh, but yeah. Is it because of, like, yeah, money yeah. And yeah. Stuff? yeah. We were going to do one this Thursday at the bar at the El Rey for Blue October, but we're oh. not sure about that. Yeah. So have you guys can't. played there before? No. Yeah. We canceled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but we might do one at Burt's at the end of this Yeah, month. we'd love to do it. Burt's is probably one of my favorite it's venues such a good ever. Venue. Such yeah. a good venue. They're so receptive to the artists like oh, us. Oh, they that are. Really. Their acoustics, like, the really, sound yeah. that you get in there is so it's mm, the the mm, like looking it. at old birds to the new birds it's yeah. like oh it's a huge, huge difference like, what yeah. billionaire so donated this money for yeah. this that? like you know it's They're just like, like i like yeah, this vibe like, here's so <laughs> much nicer it's insane here's a new idea yeah. i like that new birds a it's lot. really nice it's i think the outline everything about it is just much better mm-hmm. the other one was way too crowded yeah definitely oh, i, I mean it was like the table boots and the yeah. pictures of the artists that i like it just makes me feel warm and cozy i feel it's good when we get an artist we like like louis or yeah. louis armstrong or the beatles yeah i mean every gig i've had at burst is like awesome and i'm oh, sure yeah. you guys can feel the same way you know i've still never been to that like upstairs area though. yeah Have i don't think it's there? no i don't think it's open. i've been there like on a weekend show once where they had that open and i think it was just locals playing anyways but uh yeah i'm just curious to see what that looks <laughs> like it looks like a cool little happening lounge. yeah they got yeah they have a mezzanine like who has a mezzanine yeah. wait days, people play you know? up there i don't think no, so i don't, I don't think so i think yeah. it's just sort of uh like a green room area because like yeah. they have that small little green room for oh, the okay. stage i yeah. call that the cocaine oh yeah the lounge. cocaine <laughs> lounge <laughs> we love the I cocaine smoke. lounge yeah. i mean <laughs> they got the bongos and yeah. we'll be rocking they got, like, out couches yeah yeah their posters they got a rug yeah yeah you can just chill That's away from the best from time to look at yourself the bar. on lots of drugs. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, and self-evaluate your decisions. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's a good place. That's good. Your own glory. Mm-hmm. Have, you, like, have, have you guys played Birch Bad? Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, yes, so yes, we have. Um, I think uh, us as a band, we only did played there once. Mm-hmm. I played there for a jazz gig another time. It was like a burlesque event thing, but... The launch pad gig we did, um, that was back in October, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was a while back. I really yeah. liked that, that it, venue it a lot. It was a good gig up yeah. until the last song we were playing. The word is my kick pedal snapped. Like, you know, the oh. spring that keeps the pedal oh, from, shit. you know, not going against yeah, the... Yeah, that you, yeah. That whole, that whole spring just snapped, and so <laughs> it was rendered useless, and you can't really play a song without no, yeah. a kick pedal. It was strange, because we're just rocking out, and you don't hear the luckily, bass. Luckily, I had pro coverage on it, so I was able to get reimbursed nice. uh, through Guitar Center you, for that. But now no, 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 I, no, no, no. I replaced coverage. the spring with an old spring that I had from my double kick pedal that also had the same issue, but it was just on the other end where it, I took that spring from. So now... Every gig I go to, I try and bring two kick pedals. <laughs> just in the, you know, based on that scenario, like I don't want that to ever happen. Yeah, again. it's like so an that extra way, pair of breaks, strings. Like I'll have a backup plan. So it was the spring that broke. Yeah, the spring yeah. just snapped. Uh, dude, I told the audience the drummer broke a string. <laughs> well, no, that was that <laughs> that's was a metaphor. Though. Like yeah, a that's beautiful. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> they they get a the got drummer good can't strum his instrument anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That um, was funny. That yeah. was good stuff. I mean, it wasn't well, I had, at the time. I was kind of <laughs> you know, but it was, was a good way to it. bring comedic value to it. Yeah, Our drummer broke tried, a string. Yeah. That was great. That was good. Exactly. Great <laughs> way to just cool everything off. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no, I, I, there is the issue of like the kick drum running away from you when it's not like secured properly. Yeah. I saw you put a block. Yeah, yeah it, no, that yeah, yeah, rig. Yeah, it's right over there. Yeah. I was like watching you move it when we were playing that the last show we played, yeah. and I was like, oh, dude, I got to move it for him next no, time it happens. It's, it's my response. I yeah. bear this weight, man. You do it great. <laughs> yeah, you, you did it great. I bear the cinder block sized weight <laughs> on my back. Um, it's great. But yeah, no, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a good time. Let's talk about the Fiesta's gig because that was the most recent. Oh no, it wasn't the most recent one. Oh, Fiesta's was awesome. The, was it the biggest gig oh, you guys yeah. have had? Biggest of the yeah. year, definitely so of the far. year yeah. Yeah. of 2017. Yes, yeah. Yeah. that was a good show. Yeah, yeah, I, good I heard you guys had more time than you thought, so you just like yeah had to. Oh, oh, that was weird. weird. <laughs> we kind <laughs> of right. like. But I didn't notice. I don't think anyone did. Oh, we had a That's good time good. too. Yeah, it was a great time. It was unfortunate because they were gonna choose a song that them three were good with, but I didn't know. Yeah. And then I was it would like, be I the can't play that song. It'd yeah. be the same thing, vice versa. And they, they, they would look at me and be like, "Dude, yeah, I forgot this short song." End of the stick. <laughs> so we're just like yeah. trying to pick the yeah. music, but it was a, like you yeah. know, it was yeah. a good time. We had a great time. Yeah, yeah. That, that was so fun. It was a fun stage to be on. Oh, I really loved it. Quality. Yeah, it's good time. Good weather too. Yeah, yeah. The sound checking was a little strange because we thought that everyone could hear us, but turns out they couldn't. Who? So when we were like sound checking, like there was a band next to us still playing, and like the sound guy, like, all right, play it as loud as you can. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. we thought everyone could hear us, but it turns it, out yeah, they couldn't. Yeah. Person from the crowd who was like, I guess, a homie with the band that was playing, like came up to the stage sound checking. And he's like, "Can you guys sound check later?" And the, the sound really? guy was like, "No." Was like, yeah, it was. I mean, uh, that's that's I how it's set up. I felt bad. I really felt bad. Up. Like I was like concerned because that guy was like not wanting us to make sound while his friends were playing and I felt it I got yeah, it yeah no yeah it makes sense yeah. it's just that there are two stages right. literally 10 feet away from yeah. each other well the <laughs> yeah. thing is the drag was they were an acoustic act uh, oh was it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. They were, there were no drums or anything it was just like three guys well except for um, you when you were sound checking yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well that's the thing like when I was sound checking my drums I was kind of trying to play in time to what I could <laughs> yeah. hear them playing dude Tyler was on the side like dude here his tempo yeah yeah, oh, I noticed that cool. too when you did that, and I was like, "Fucking sweet!" And I would, I would yeah. try to do the same thing, so playing key and tempo. Tyler came up to me like next to my ear, and he like whispered, "He's like, play with their tempo." Yeah. <laughs> we, we are them. Yeah, <laughs> they are us. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was like, "Oh, dude!" I was like, "Now I gotta rock with them." Yeah, and that was a oh, good. That time, was a good though. time, man. That was a good, great day. Oh yeah, Tatiana oh, yeah, did a fantastic yeah. job. All Tatiana's of that's like really, yeah. really the MVP. Of oh, yeah. everything, of all parts of life. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, it, great. like, no matter what day, what 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 kind of horrible day I'm having, if, like, she shows up and it's like, okay, life is all right, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I feel the same way. Shout out to... We love yeah, you, Tatiana. 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 Yeah. You're listening. We love you. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Stop not doing you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome <laughs> show. Great job. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, good times, man. Good times. Oh, great times. This is a little, our little scene is a little family. Yeah, kinda. definitely. Very definitely. personal. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, I, you and Eugene, are, and post Ugly Robot, post Mortem, rest oh, in peace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were definitely yeah, the closest um, bands that I knew of, and that's why I like asked you guys first for the first episode daily double <laughs> situation <laughs> podcast of the. D- so are you gonna get Eugene on <laughs> next time, or are you gonna try and do? that? Oh, I was asking Crush. I want to do Crush Deluxe. They oh, just yeah. they just yeah, came from Japan. Cool. Yeah, they just got right. back from Japan. Dude, I bet that yeah, was yeah. Awesome. stories for days. Probably. Yeah, but they also have five members, and everyone's like working, and also you can't even hear yourself with these headphones. So there's a yeah. lot of. That's right. It's a good little test run. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of details to go into that. But yeah, I, I really want to. Um, see, see, like, what did they do in Japan? I mean, I know they had like shows and stuff, but and I'm sure it was awesome. Yeah. Well, I bet, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I Cause think they had like some sort of connection because they had a band from Japan play at Fly Honey Warehouse oh, or something. Okay. So they were able to get like a good line of shows booked out there, yeah. and then they pulled their own money to just get out there and mm-hmm. fly. And I think maybe they stayed with these people that they met or something cool. like that yeah. i i still i have no idea i just all i know is from what i see adam post on facebook yeah. a killer i think i respect yeah. like i respect crush and oh, adam yeah. what they do so much mm-hmm. like bringing in the local scene and fly honey so great it's such a nice little venue no that they built. like he is he, he has the whole maybe this is exaggeration maybe it's not he has the whole freaking indie scene Oh yeah, back. the local music. The do-it-yourself do local, local scene, scene is like there, and yeah. like I don't know, maybe we we should really say thank you 
Thank you <laughs> so <laughs> Maybe much. Maybe not through here. Maybe like through like a freaking postcard. Like it needs to be like sentimental. <laughs> seriously, like who else is doing that? Yeah, like else? they really, they're trying to bring the Albuquerque music scene. We, we meet a lot of, you know, out of town people. I met a band from Colorado and just everybody like, oh no, dude, I'm not from here. Just mm-hmm. like rocking out at the Fly Honey. Just, yeah, just because of the Fly Honey warehouse. Yeah. You meet so many like passing bands. They just have there. a great setup with that venue in general how the stage is in the garage yeah. area then they have this whole outside area where people can just kind of hang out mm. smoke their cigarettes and drink their beer yeah good yeah. times man i love it yeah that's a good yeah, place right we should go there soon roosevelt park where you know it's kind of a haven for a lot of just university people in general yeah mm. <laughs> shenanigans is a good word yeah, yeah. yeah. i play my ukulele and thing. what's crazy <laughs> is i guess that their house they live in the whole the house that's in front of the Fly Honey warehouse, their garage. Yeah. It was actually in an episode of Breaking Bad. I remember Adam actually posted about it once, and I don't know if you've seen that show uh, at well, all. I've, I've seen like the last three episodes because I want to know oh, how it okay. ended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't seen anything. It was in the last like season. I don't think it was the last three, but um, I, I know what episode it's from, and uh, it's, it's like an interesting episode because it opens up with some old guy coming out of that house, and then... He uh he like finds money on the ground and uh he's just like what is this? There's just like these stacks of a hundred just all around and it's when Jesse basically goes crazy because he he realizes like Walt like manipulated him and so then he walks over to Roosevelt Park and Jesse's just kind of sitting there like on one of those little merry like carousel things that go round and round and he's just crazy and that's how the episode opens. So I didn't know that. At all, like I would have never guessed that. Dang, so that show's intense, man. Cool. Yeah. yeah, cool little fun fact about Fly Hunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, episode. I did the same thing. I watched the last episode, and yeah. I like didn't no watch shame, the previous man. four are seasons. Talk shit about yeah. it? No. They were like, "Do you not shoot I'm like, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the journey. I just wanted to end it." <laughs> I want to see <laughs> supposedly one of the greatest shows of all time. Yeah, I mean, I, so I saw the whole series like yeah. kind of throughout a long period of like three or four months or so oh, just nice. kind of watching it continuously supposedly and it's very it is a great so. story yeah yeah i know we go out of town and like, hey, oh, is it like all breaking bad yeah, where you live i'm like absolutely like, how's not. the meth i'm like it's you got that blue <laughs> so good you don't even know okay it's blue and <laughs> everybody nice. does it <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on it right and now. everybody does it <laughs> yeah. uh be sarcastic <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no yeah good times one out um, of three <laughs> one out of three is math? that the statistic is that, no, so no. one of us one <laughs> of us is on math right well, now it's definitely Four. me oh god <laughs> <laughs> i'm more it. of an angel dust person so. <laughs> yeah php thing. um but that's a known fact. i mean it, it it's, i'm seeing you drum i would have freaking guessed your 30 <laughs> second notes are literally out of this world yeah you think what I is a 30 second out of this world? <laughs> i'm in another realm you know like they're insane i have to be <laughs> talk about those 30 seconds no, 30 second notes they're so talk they're never them. not precise yeah i want to uh, know what that is yeah, well you you have i've seen you drum you you do that too you have 30 second notes but you, yours are like consistent well, dude. yeah and i'd say in uh the word is that's when I do them the fastest out of yeah. all of them. Oh, is that where he hits the hi hat? Yeah, really, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, just like that. But you do there's three verses in those songs. You do it three times and never lose the beat. And Dude, yeah. he's a robot, man. Yeah, he's a Your machine. Your are all in sync mm. with one another. I, I mean, it could be like my drumline percussion experience that plays into that. Yeah, but, no, uh, definitely. I don't know. I mean, all that stuff just takes practice. You got to loosen up your limbs a little mm-hmm. bit and then just, you know. He's crazy, man. Like, you know, we, Tyler yourself. and I bring a song to him and he's just like, all right, yeah, cool. And easy. then he just <laughs> instantly makes it. It's kind of easy to forget for, yeah. like how complicated it is because he just makes no, it No, he makes it look, simple. yeah, no, seriously. It's really it's like easy. There was one Phil, I don't know what song it was, but for the last gig um outside the freaking beauty parlor or whatever um <laughs> you, there was one feel you had where you just utilized ghost notes really well and i i think i yelled at you i was like casey oh my I god i want to know what that is oh. Why does it it's, ghost it's like really quick it's like you kind of hit the snare but not really so it just sounds like Whoosh, and like kind of smooths it out for the fill oh. is it like a slower song it was it was like you did the fill and like literally the song ended so I don't know what songs you have that end on a fill. Uh, maybe the sanctuary. Sanctuary. Right yeah. Oh yeah.
smooth, that one man. Fill I do just it was smooth like, like butter. My hand around oh, yeah. to that fill. It's the same every time. <laughs> it was really good though. <laughs> 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 there it is. Bing the Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that. There you have it, folks. Yeah, I do the rappy thing every time he does it. Yeah. Put the bat. Yeah, moving yeah. away, man. Toss the pizza. Yeah, dude. Honestly, <laughs> though, trying to feed I somebody, think... like force feed somebody. Here comes the airplane. Yeah. Lead fine poetry. It's your favorite song you say that's actually probably my favorite to play like that end part that i do with the hi-hat i mean that mm. actually it took me a while to get adjusted to doing that so fast but it, it came along in due time but i love playing that end part and mm. i feel like that's the strongest moment of that song in general because yeah, oh, i mean i love the harmonies that you guys are doing and the guitar part just flows so well and even leading up to that after the second chorus the bum 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 na 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 bum 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 yeah yeah that yeah, that the syncopation you guys have with that lyric yeah. right there. Oh yeah, like the, the switching guitars. Yeah, yeah, that, that was actually my on the on the studio yeah. version. Mm-hmm. It sounds really. It's a very really in your face like indie rock kind of song at that point. Yeah, yeah. Tyler wanted to do. I had made oh. that that little part, and Tyler was like, "Dude, we got to split that." Because I mean, yeah, that yeah. song in general was like hard to write parts to because it's just like it's technicality. So I was like, "It's such a good lead part." You only want it one part of the song. Let's do like this back and forth and pan it from left to right. Yeah, he wanted to pan it, and then he made a second part to it for that more intense part. I was Uh like, wow, that's like it worked really well. Mm -hmm. Is there bass on that part, or is it just guitar? No, I think there's bass. Yeah, Yeah. there is bass. That's what kind of like leads it it in. Yeah, Yeah. that's cool. What What are your guys' favorite songs to play? Like each of you. Oh man sanctuaries is definitely like the one that loosens me up the most mm-hmm. so like playing that one like if i open up well you know the band opens up with that one i just feel i'm ready for the entire nice. set yeah. and then like pink lipstick is definitely one and fourth floor is pretty i was gonna cool. say oh, yeah. fourth floor fourth is really good floor is i feel like that one's great fun. to play live and it's also i think it came out one of the as one of the best songs on the album like yeah, no, just definitely. sonically yeah. like overall it just sounds very crisp <laughs> I'm only screaming how I don't really care. Make an old cell, take with precaution. My dreams are turning into loose in our beds. Another old cell, start with the concept. I'm only screaming how I don't really care. Make an old cell, take with precaution. My dreams are turning into loose in our beds. Another old cell, stop. Like honestly, my favorite songs off the record are Tyler's songs, which are Four Floor and Sun Night. Like those, you wrote those. Yeah, he wrote those, nice. both of those songs, and nice. I think they're my favorite. Nice, they're so good. Four Floor sounds so good too, yeah, like in a car the, and stuff. So, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Dang, yeah. well, almost is fun to play too. Oh yeah, almost. I mean, we don't get to utilize the sound that we recorded on the. Yeah, I think the recorded album, version is no, definitely like, superior. That we can really do live, but um, uh-huh. I, yeah. I do like playing that Latin part. Like it's it's mm-hmm. fun. It kind of I feel like it kind of sets people back to like, oh wow, I was not yeah. expecting you to go into a full salsa mode. Yeah, yeah for real, yeah. you yeah. could salsa your chips. face off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos, uh, by Laura. ladies and gentlemen. Comer- what, yeah. Which one's yours? Uh, Who's your favorite? I, I liked playing Sun Night. So, yeah. It's like a rhythm guitar song where I can move around. Mm-hmm. It's like because that's one of the, like like one of the songs I wrote. He takes the lead guitar. For the parts and i get to move around more yeah yeah, yeah. Right. spin around in circles and shit that ending too is <laughs> yeah. like i love the end of when tyler and i both like dun, 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 dun. we both do like yeah, crazy yeah. Lead. and like nate kind of just like drives the rhythm uh-huh. it's got I a like, very strong yeah. ending that mm-hmm. and the fourth floor i'm not the fourth floor, i'm sorry the word is those are the two songs i can like move around yeah. in easier what, what what's the song you guys get like the best reaction to? Probably the word is right. Yeah. I don't know. It just <sighs> Man, that's really hard. Yeah, yeah. Does, yeah, it actually. Does. It always like it changes up all yeah. the time. I remember mm-hmm. like when we went to Denver that like like last year with Nate. It took like two or three songs we played. Like there was like for college students and. We got to like the third or fourth song. It was the fourth floor, and like as soon as we hit the fourth floor, everyone loosened up. Yeah. Like half of the pub left, like went to, to go to their, do their own thing. But then the people that stayed, then like they started to dance at that song. And then right after that song, face. it was just beautiful, fun yes. from beautiful there. They experience. They were losing their minds. That. Yeah, they're well, screaming the at us. The word is, I'm pretty sure, and they they were enjoying that. They were clapping along to that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, pretty well. I mean, there's a whole section in that song where it's like, clap your hands, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Clap. The Definitely. word is gets people dancing. <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I think uh, 
it just really depends a lot of no, people yeah. like a line like you and a lot of other people are like dude the word is has your catchiest chorus oh. or the most dancey one is the fourth floor and stuff like yeah. that so it depends on your taste i guess yeah Never, I get. I mean, online it seems like banana people is <laughs> kind of like the king bee. I mean, it's been around for I think a you while. Just like banana people love, so you're just like, yeah, this song's amazing. Yeah, that has well, an advantage because it's been around twice as long. Yeah, I think it's just been around. Like, I don't want to really immortal, you know, immortalize the banana people <laughs> part, but yeah. it just happened. Like, so I was like, oh darn, <laughs> that's no, gonna it stay is, with it is us. A gym. Yeah. It is a gym. Well, also, I mean, I don't know. I don't think you know this. I don't think you were at this show, but we were in a Battle of the Bands event about a year ago. Was it, it the local band showcase? No. No, no it was no, called it was Glory in the Desert. There were 28 oh, bands. Oh, yeah, I heard it was like Yeah, a, yeah. So we, we, got, we moved up uh, and we did three brackets and we moved to the finals with a group called Self Contained. Um, but for our last show, uh, for the last bracket, the finals, basically, during Banana People, we had some of our friends... Dress up in banana oh. costumes that Tyler bought. <laughs> yeah, and then even and, a gorilla. And purple gorillas. Gorilla. Yeah, <laughs> Matt was in a purple gorilla costume. And they came out great. and tried to do like a little dance. Not like a dance routine. It was like <laughs> they just, the gorilla they just was... moved around. Yeah, they were just... They just it moved was just it. a shot factor. Like purple kind of gorilla like, just oh, wow. chased him <laughs> around. And loud. people seem to like receive it really yeah, well. No, but. We still got second. <laughs> <but we're laughs> <laughs> well, we, dude, it, it was funny. We got second like self-containment when they got up. They were like... Well, I don't know if we can compete with the banana people, but (laughs) how about we all come to the front and show them what we got? And they had, like, this huge crowd come to the front. and like They they brought a lot of people. They had, like, good, like, 40 people there at the front of the stage, and we had, like, five lonely banana people. (laughs) And my mom and dad were there to support us. I was like, hey, mama. My grandma was there, actually. (laughs) My father was self-contained, but... (laughs) <laughs> like a good amount they of my voted family for voted for <laughs> they voted for us and but i mean voting and i think like audience draw like came into the factor but i mean yeah, oh, absolutely. we both got paid so no it was cool. yeah, it was <laughs> we made money long, long we got a long. trophy Express somehow you yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taco bell dude always yeah. a good time <laughs> and then right after that or it was after that show we did after Glory in the Desert that Ned's Bar and Grill closed permanently. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. weird. So that's where it was. Yeah. You know, yes. me and Wyatt did that before. Oh. We did it two years ago. Oh, no. Maybe oh, three. Okay. Yeah. That was the second show we've ever done was that Ned's. Okay. Which is now a hotel or whatever. It's a I hotel think it's now? An, it, I no. Think, so uh, it was next to a Marriott. But then, like Marriott, just like abs- like absorbed it in its like oh. membrane and just okay. like, and, like yeah. You know what? The zone is next to, it and that got closed down too. Yeah. I wonder if they just took that both of those I properties. Heard Starbucks like bought it or something. Gave the property mm. owner like an offer, and then yeah. an offer he but couldn't I mean, refuse. There's nothing, like they haven't demolished it or anything yet. So. It was just weird, like to see it. I thought it was like being pretty successful. I know, like we have a friend named sean and he was talking about how like his mom used to go to that bar so i thought it's just been around for a while and it's just gonna stay around forever but yeah. guess not Starbucks. i mean yeah it, it was a cool place mm-hmm. i kind of wish yeah. it was still around you know it it's kind of fun. out of the way but it's, it's, it's a nice. lot of fun to go there yeah and just get drunk and then sleep at the marriott yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> marriott give us free stuff yeah, yeah. shout out to marriott when are you gonna sponsor everything in my life sponsor the daily lobo <laughs> no i mean no I mean, we live in I the mean, lobby. No. <laughs> Want to live the sweet life with Zach and Cody. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I forgot about that show. Yeah, didn't they move to a boat, though? Did they I move to know. a Yeah, it was like boat? it was sweet life with the hotel with Mosby and the, the really attractive blonde lady. Uh, what's Ashley her name? Tisdale. Ashley Tisdale. And then yeah. they season freaking two. Or maybe not. I don't know. But like they rebooted it. It was like sweet life on deck. And now everyone was on a boat. This was after I watched Disney Channel, what so I only like, heard I don't the... know either. I was more of a Hannah Montana fan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak Dude, on this. I honestly, like, I was too a little bit. I watched way too much Disney Channel as a kid. It's kind of... I, I was a I Nickelodeon guy. I did when I was, like, guy. in elementary yeah. school. Like, I loved even Stevens. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, that was Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> his Steve first show, good. pretty seen, much. Dude, that movie was always on Disney Channel. I saw that movie, like... 13 times. That's the one where they like they did that clay intro, right? Maybe. Yeah, yes. that's yeah, like that was always like memorable for me. With like that theme song, but now, bah, 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 yeah, bah, yeah. Bah, bah, bah. That was a, that's that claymation that scared the shit. No, that out was of me. 
one of the better shows on Disney Channel. I mean, I mostly watch like cartoons on Nickelodeon yeah, and Cartoon, Cartoon Network. Network like, but like SpongeBob and but of course, SpongeBob. Danny Phantom. Do you guys remember that? Danny, dude, I never got into I tried so oh. hard to like it and I never really I think did. Cartoon Network takes the cake though in terms it of does, like, no. how awesome. I mean, it Toonami is. a little yeah, just like, like Full Metal Alchemist awesome, and yeah. Samurai Jack, all that Gundam. good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, cool. even like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I oh, that was a like, great show. Was happening. That was good. How did that end? Was it like a depressing ending or something? Something like something that. I crazy. actually kind of heard about that. Yeah, I think that was a creepy pasta too. I, I, it probably was. Honestly, I, I think we're thinking about the same. Yeah, I think we're creepy pastaing it right now. We're on the same vibe. Yeah. There's a wavelength here. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's a, it's a shitty wavelength, but it's a wavelength. <laughs> yeah, it's less. there. Um. No, yeah, no. I, 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 for what it's worth, this is probably gonna sound way shittier than it's supposed to be, but I could totally see like a trio song on like Zoe One Hundred One. Wait, Zoe One Hundred One? That was with Britney Spears' sister. sister. Yeah. Did she get knocked like, up or got something? Pregnant when yeah, she was yeah. like thirteen or something. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna defend <laughs> Jamie Lynn on this one, but. Jamie, she was yeah, definitely and she was on All that, that for a little bit yeah. too. What is I All that? that? That's crazy. Yeah, do you know these shows? I have no idea. You, you guys didn't watch. <laughs> you guys are talking about this. Did you, did you time. Watch All Arthur? that was <laughs> awesome. But then they kind of like brought it back with another cast, like a few years later, and it wasn't the same. Like the original, all that had, uh, yeah. like uh, Keenan and Kel yeah. and yeah, Amanda too. Bynes. I was, was watching crazy porn now, when I was ten. Oh, oh what's up, guy. Bly? What's going on? Why yeah, we're doing, Ranger we're doing a podcast. Come in one of our microphones and say hi. Yeah. I mean, this is a good time to end it anyway. Cause it's been like an say hour. hi to this microphone. Uh, oh, probably. Oh. Yeah. Are, we, are we live? Yeah. Hello. No, you're not part of this. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is now I'm headed to your house, basically. Right car, having a conversation. Car. <laughs> All right. That, uh, yeah, okay. Goodbye, I hey, guess. This hey, everyone. It's a Lobo. Something, something, something. Yeah. <laughs> is there any... Any last Treehouse things you'd like to plug or just talk about? Um, There's no sh- oh, second album. Anybody who's listening, um, you know, our music's up in the air. When's waves. the second album coming out? We uh, we're still kind of in the writing process for that right now, but we're looking to record that in August or yeah. September and then release it. You this know, year, hopefully? However long yeah. Yeah, it to takes 2017, to hopefully mix and master mm-hmm. it. I mean, I don't have too high of expectations for that, but um, it'll be out, if not the end of this year 2018 definitely nice Very cool. yeah yeah just keep making music man. but yeah definitely. i mean our We're current excited. album it's it's out there so yeah. go cop that go listen <laughs> to it go illegally download it on uh the pirate bay yes you don't have to because it's on youtube and everywhere else the so spotify camp and the, the soundcloud <laughs> yeah, the sp- and myspace <laughs> Spudif- 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 and we love our myspace fans <laughs> yeah. yeah shout out to linkedin <laughs> yeah all, all my fans on linkedin <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right. J Dog out.